The 1970s musical Grease is now facing increased scrutiny after it was aired by the BBC during Boxing Day last year. Now folks are reassessing their views towards the classic rom-com nearly 40 years after it first arrived in theaters. The consensus at the moment is that the film isn't exactly aging well. Some have called it misogynistic, while others are referring to it as downright rapey. Those on social media are saying the film encourages slut-shaming, and it's also being categorized as sexist. In fact, some people are so offended by the film, there are even calls for Grease to be banned from screens altogether. Which brings up the question, is Grease really as bad as people say it is, or is it simply the product of a different time? Join Facts First as we take a closer look at this 1978 film while addressing some of the issues its opponents have brought up retrospectively. Different Times, But Is That an Excuse? Grease hit theaters in 1978 and starred John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. The musical tells the story of two young teens, Sandy and Danny, who get all caught up in a youthful summer romance in 1958. Danny Zuko, played by Travolta, clad in leather and donning a greaser haircut, is the quintessential bad boy, who lucks out and gets a chance to spend a romantic and wild time with the more straight-laced Sandy, played by Newton-John. Their drastically different characters and ideals are what inspire the sweet yet somewhat naive Sandy to give herself a grittier makeover while adopting a more bold and loud attitude to win the affection of the boy of her dreams. And it's for this reason viewers in the early 2020s aren't exactly thrilled with the film's premise. Perhaps the most problematic moment of the film takes place during the Summer Nights song sequence with the questionable lyric, Did She Put Up a Fight?, which is sung to ask Danny when he's recounting his journey of seduction with Sandy to his buddies. Some folks are even calling the film's plot racist, homophobic, and overtly sexist. Another common complaint is about the character Rizzo, who is shamed for having unprotected sex. It's such a big part of the film, she even sang a song about it. Another scene that's facing heavy criticism is when Danny's friend Putsy is called a pervert after hiding under the floor to get an upskirt glimpse of two students attending Rydell High School. Then you have the segment when Vince Fontaine, a local radio announcer, makes a fairly frank homophobic remark about the high school dance, announcing there were no same-sex couples who attended the dance contest. While there are numerous angry people on the internet that are ready to burn every last copy of the film, others have shrugged off these criticisms, arguing that the film, which is considered a classic, is simply a product of a different time. Defenders of the film have called it the perfect movie to sit down and enjoy with loved ones. But is it really? To be fair, this isn't the first time Grease has come under fire. In October of 2020, Olivia Newton-John defended the film in the midst of the Me Too movement, saying she never really took the film too seriously and described it just as a movie with a fun story. She later responded to the backlash that the film has received in recent days by calling its criticism silly. She pointed out that it's a film and stage play set in the 1950s and made in the 70s. She went on to lament that people these days are taking things too seriously. Furthermore, she expressed people need to relax a bit to appreciate things for what they are instead of being quick to want to cancel anything and everything for the most minor of offenses. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for a lot more about the controversies surrounding Greece. The musical has been nixed by school systems. For decades, Grease has been a popular stage musical for school theater programs. But the recent backlash against the film adaptation has called into question whether or not teens should be involved in its performance. According to two school administrations and its students in Australia, the musical is totally inappropriate for young people. Students from two K-12 schools in Perth, Australia, have reportedly protested against any future productions of the musical at their schools, citing the show's offensive, sexist, and anti-feminist thematic elements. A production of the musical was already in the works jointly between the two schools when the students put a halt on plans for the performance. According to one of the school's principals, several students had raised concerns over whether the musical was appropriate for the modern day. The principal reportedly gave an ear to the students' qualms with the play and agreed that a different product would be more suitable for their 2022 theater season. While some people have applauded the decision, a number of parents have scrutinized the move, arguing the show's critics were a small minority of the student body. Alternatively, they've suggested giving the musical a much-needed makeover to better fit in with today's social norms and values. While the BBC is considering banning the film, a prequel is in the works. It doesn't look like the debate surrounding Greece's appropriateness in modern times will go away anytime soon. If anything, the controversy has just started. 
But the timing of this newly emboldened scandal is interesting since a Grease prequel is said to be in the works. Summer Lovin', which has been described as a full-on musical, is said to tell the tale of the days leading up to Danny and Sandy's adventures in the halls of Rydell High School. While the film will no doubt try to match the tone and imagery of Greece as much as possible, it'll have to limit itself a bit on how much it can borrow from the original, especially considering these recent debates over the film's content and themes. Summer Lovin', which is currently in pre-production at Paramount, does not yet have a release date, but it's rumored to focus on the fling Danny and Sandy had before reconnecting at their high school. At the very least, producers of the upcoming film will have to seriously consider criticisms of the original film while taking steps to avoid some of its pitfalls. It was announced in 2019 that HBO Max was planning a Grease spin-off series to air on their platform, but it seems as of right now that project has jumped ship and is now in development over at competing streaming service Paramount+. Plus. The HBO Max series was said to be called Grease, Rydell High, while Paramount's 10-episode series is being promoted as Grease, Rise of the Pink Ladies. Reportedly, the series will focus on the titular Pink Ladies, a clique of mischievous, sexually active Rydell High Greaser girls that were fronted in the original film by Betty Rizzo, played by Stockard Channing. Rise of the Pink Ladies is set to take place four years before the events of Greece and will focus on presenting a new image of the franchise that will shatter stereotypes and present the outcast girls in a new and decidedly modern light. And yes, it's slated to be another musical. It's not currently known whether Summer Lovin' is still in production, seeing as how the tentative film's IMDb page hasn't been updated in a while. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Greece is as bad as people say it is and should get the cancel treatment? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.